always want you to have joy inside your heart. Okay. No matter what happens in life, always remember that Jesus loves you. That's a wisdom seed for joy. It's a wisdom seed. Baby, a wisdom seed is something someone plants inside your heart so that it'll grow one day. Like a pretty flower? Just like a pretty flower. Secrets Only way I knew to live my life Ashamed of what I held so deep inside Will this last? Helpless A love that I once knew has left me cold Face an angry world I once controlled to my path. Whoa. Friends and loved ones all end up forsaken But I can't turn back Ladies night! Hey! Wow, can't remember the last one. I know, I know. If I hadn't moved to Raleigh, I didn't say it. You could have moved too. Leisha, don't start. If I hadn't been in Pittsburgh, where would Danny have gone? Besides, my ministry is here. She would have come to Raleigh, too. Some of my best memories are here in Pittsburgh with you guys. I'm just glad we didn't let that stupid rivalry between our fathers keep us apart. Remember staying up late talking? Oh, singing, laughing, watching movies? <sighs> yeah, those were good times. But? Well, you know... Playboy Greg and my Eve me. Uh-uh, Danny, don't start. Tonight is about us. Just fun, food, and family. Well, speaking of family, how's your dad? He loves France. We went to go see him last year. He needs Jesus, but he thinks everyone's like Grandpa Tim. At least your dad talks about Grandpa Tim. My dad's still the prodigal. Girl, let me tell you, my dad spilled the beans last year. What do you mean? That prodigal son stuff is a generational curse. Grandpa Tim was a prodigal son too. I didn't know that. And there's more. Annie, can you go get some lemonade, please? Leisha, it's just family gossip. It's not family gossip. Grandpa Tim was a womanizer and a shyster. Hmm. Okay, now don't leave me hanging. My dad was a part of the madness too. When he got older, he told Grandpa Tim he didn't agree with it. What happened? My dad never talks about Grandpa Tim. Grandpa's Tim Church was more like one of those storefronts. Mm -hmm. You know, the kind that you see on TV where you change the channel right before you laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, you pay a dollar for a small blessing, a thousand for a big blessing. Are you serious? Enough of family madness. Twin, let's watch the movie. In 12 hours, we have to have you at the airport. Don't forget me in North Carolina, and I expect a visit. It has to be longer than a weekend. I promise, as soon as we get settled, we'll come for a visit. I practiced the hymns for tomorrow. Going out back to play some ball, Nana. Yeah, Nana, he was playing them other songs too. Can't play no ball though. Who won the last game? Who's gonna win this game? I'm playing too. Nanny, sit with me. Danny, hand me my Bible. Let's see. Now the slave has no permanent place in the family, but the son belongs forever. So if the son sets you free, you're free indeed. Now you're getting ready to go to high school. I know, I can't wait. Do you know what it means to be free? I guess so. Child, I'm talking really free. From what? Free from bondage, from anything except the Lord. Free from pain, 
anger and bitterness. Noah said he can't wait to leave home because my dad's a bitter old man. You just remember, if you find yourself bound up in mess, if you seek God, he will truly set you free. And you remember this too. God sees the sparrow when it falls. Then why does he let it fall? You just remember that if God takes time to watch the sparrow, you can rest assured that he sees you. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna miss Nana too. She taught me how to play a piano so well. Man, don't nobody care about how well you can play the piano? Ain't no more summers in West Virginia now. I love you, Daniel Allen. Let me make all your dreams come true. Mary. It's Greg, fella. He will come back, I promise you that. Stop lying to Josh and tell him the truth. Now I planted seeds of wisdom in you. Mom, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I heard you crying. No, I hate when you cry. Everything's okay, really. What's this? Love letters. Oh, from when you and Dad were doing. Every Valentine's Day and anniversary. Can I read them? Maybe some of them. Why not all of them? Because some things are private between two people. You understand that one day when you fall in love. I'm in love with Nikki. Real love. Two months from now, you guys probably won't even remember each other's name. Mom. Mom, I don't want to live in Pittsburgh. I like their house in Columbus. I used to like it. But it's not the same without your dad. So you just want to forget all about him? I'll never forget your dad. I know this is hard for you because it's hard for me. Can you understand that? Yeah. Sometimes you have to physically move from a place to move on. Well, why couldn't you have done that after I graduated? I promised Nikki I'd take her to the prom. I'd be willing to make that happen. You give me a 3.5 and I'll get you back to Columbus to take Nikki to the prom. What about me playing ball? What do you mean? I can't just walk onto a team my senior year. I mean, I'm trying to get a basketball scholarship. Well, really? Yeah, so I can take care of you, Mom. <laughs> Josh, you don't have to take care of me. I need you to take care of you. Do you trust me? Of course, Mom. Love and trust. Dad always said it is the root of our family. Then trust me to know that this was a good move for us. Why, why did God let my dad die? I don't know, baby. Later, Mom. I gotta go. Hello, ladies. Hey, hey, how are you? How are you? is my cousin, Danielle Singleton. Hello. She's new to the city, and she'll be joining our women's group. So everyone accept her with open arms, and we're just gonna treat her as part of our family. Hi, hey. welcome, welcome. Hey. As we prepare to leave this holy place, 
on this Thanksgiving celebration season, we want to remind you that as we go forth from here, that in everything we are to give our God thanks. Thank him for your salvation. Thank him for your life, health, and strength. Thank him in the good times and in the bad times. In everything, thank the Lord. Remember on this day that Jesus, who was present at the wedding feast of Cana, is here today. And if we stay close to him and keep our eyes on him, we will always be close one to another. Now unto him, who is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy, the power and dominion forever. Let the people of God say amen. How are Jason's parents? They're good. They miss him too. Yeah. Oh, who do these adorable <laughs> children belong to? Do you remember Karen, oh. my babysitter in Columbus? Yeah, she was just a freshman? Yep. Mm hmm She married oh. this nice guy named Ray. Mm hmm After she got her master's, they had a son and a daughter. And they even got a dog, living the dream. Wow. Aww. How cute. Honey, mm -hmm. I know it's been hard since Jason died. I just wish that you and Josh would have come home. Yeah, Mom. In a perfect world, we would have. I know. Done well, Danielle. I'm proud of you. Hey, uh, what time will uh, Josh get home? I thought he was joining us for dinner. Rehearsal must have gone long. He should be on his way. You seem to be put every aspect of your life back in order. Now that Jason's gone, when are you gonna tell Josh about his father? Really, Dad? It's 18 years ago. Let it go. Yes, it has been 18 years. 18 years you've been lying to your son. Lies, skeletons, they don't stay hidden forever. Yeah, and they always find a way of coming out of the closet. Yeah, and from what I hear, the Allen family sure has a lot of them. Listen, Danielle. I'm tired. Why can't you forgive me? Family! Sorry I'm late. Boy, where is your coat? I'm good. I don't need no coat. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, hey. hi, baby. Oh, boy. How you doing? Good. Oh. Movie star. I hear you gonna be a big hit. I hope so. <laughs> How long you been acting, boy? You got any plans for New York, Hollywood? Well, you know what? Let me check with my agent. <laughs> uh, maybe you should come back for Christmas to see my, uh, the production. Christmas is such a busy time for your grandfather. You know, I love to, son, but I got a job to do in Smithtown. You know, it doesn't be a heart good to know you're involved in ministry, though. Your mom tells me you've made some friends at the church. Yeah, the youth group makes living in Pittsburgh okay. Well, I'm sensing a pretty girl on that answer. <laughs> Perhaps there are quite a few of those in the group. <laughs> Anyone special? Uh, what's a pretty young lady's name? Sydney. Is she single? Not anymore. So you uh, you like her, but you haven't told her? Something like that. Well, son, you're the new kid on the block. Use that to your advantage. Hey. Hey, so, um, who's Sydney? She's just a friend, Mom. Well, and she sings in the choir. So what do you like about her? Well, she's she's nice and she's funny. And she's pretty. And she's pretty. Mm, what else do you know about her? Well, she wants to be an actress, but she's going to med school to please her dad or whatever. Uh, she has a little sister and she lives with her mom. Okay, well, I'd like to meet her and I'd like to meet her mother. <coughs> 
Uh, Mom, she doesn't even know I like her. Well, when are you going to tell her? Well, you'll be the third to know. Third? Uh, after I tell her, I'm going to tell Dad, and then I'll tell you. Happy Thanksgiving. Come on, y'all have a seat. Thank you. How are you? Reverend Allen, it's nice to finally meet you. Good to meet you, sir. Thank you, my goodness. I'm so glad you guys decided to join us. Yes, of course. Thank you for inviting us. Mrs. Allen, it's my pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm very glad to meet you as well. God bless you. How are you? Good. Come on, folks. Come on, have a seat. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aunt Judy, Looking beautiful, just as I remember. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, how's your father? He's good, finally taking it easy. He had triple bypass surgery last year. You know how you Allen men are workaholics. Is he doing better? He doesn't have a choice. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, just fine, son. How are you? I'm good. I'm going to be the next president of America. Stop kissing that. My family has a tradition. Whenever we come together, we thank God for friends and family. You mind joining us? Father God, we just thank you for another opportunity, God, and we just thank you for bringing friends and family together, God. We thank you for getting them here safely, and we know that through this experience, we're going to have a great time in you, God. We thank you for us gathering together and the blessings in this room, and God, we just ask that you continue to bless these families. God, we just ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 My friends, when we think about Christmas, this is what motivated God to show up in the world tell the angels and the prophets and the apostles to speak this word and write these words in the Gospel Gazette. Extra, extra, read all about it. For unto us this day is born a Savior, and he shall save his people from their sins. Why? Because God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe upon him should not perish, but have eternal life. Somebody know what I'm talking about, don't you? My friends, as we prepare to close, we want Sister Sydney to come and she's going to lead us in a beautiful song that might remind us of the power and redeeming grace of our God. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap, everybody. so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. How are you? Hi. You really blessed my heart with that song. Oh, thank you. Praise God. Hey, Sheila. How are hey. you? Good. We missed you at the women's ministry meeting. I know, and it's exactly where I need to be. I'll be back. All right, all right. Sheila, this is my cousin, Daniel. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Your you daughter can sing, girl. Oh, oh, praise God. She is blessed. Mom, this is Josh's mom. 
Oh, then we need to talk about the snowball. It's right after Christmas. The snowball. Oh, oh, oh yeah, my mom. I told Sydney I'd escort her to the snowball. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about that because this would be the first time I'm hearing about it. Oh. And this is my youngest, Shay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> This is for you. It's your turn. You open. It's your turn to go first. Okay. Oh, baby, you shouldn't have. You should have the things you want, even if it's an overpriced jersey with someone else's name on it. Now your turn. I'm sorry. It was a stupid thing to get upset about. I should have understood about your fear of seeing Greg at Hershey Park. Can you forgive me? Yeah, of course. Merry Christmas. Oh, Joshua. I know you and Dad exchange gifts every Christmas morning. Oh, baby, thank you. I want to make it special for you. You make it special. I love you, Mom. Merry Christmas. I love you. Merry Christmas, sweetie. I wish Dad was here. He is, always. Your daughters are so beautiful. <laughs> you must be so proud. <laughs> Well, at least I am. Their dad hasn't really been involved since the divorce. Sylvester always promises he'll show up. Then he makes an excuse, but he always sends said flowers. Shay! What? He never sent me any flowers. Sorry about that. It's <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, um, the snowball. Yes. It is the second Friday in February, and for some reason it's always freezing that day. As long as it doesn't snow, I'm all right. <laughs> Sid's not gonna want me to drive him downtown. Well, Josh doesn't have his Pennsylvania license. Mm. Let me check with Harvey. He and Josh have really connected this past summer. Okay. Yeah, Sid's gonna want to drive, but I'm not comfortable with that. Mm. Between, uh, Snow and ice and giddiness and inattentiveness. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I know that's right. And the parking downtown is horrible. Yeah, that would put my mind at ease. Ooh, look at you. You look so good in this tux. Yes. You know the older you get, the more you look like your father. Uh, I don't like the shoes. You look wonderful and handsome. Now, we need to go so that we're not late. Well, Uncle Harvey isn't coming until 6.15. We need picture time. I know you like him. Mom, get your daughter. Mom, she really does like Josh. She's just too afraid to tell him. 
Well, you know what? My uncle's here. Okay, let's go. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. One more, Mom. Want coffee? So why didn't you go to the snowball? My mom wouldn't let me. And why not? She says I'm too young. Oh, well. Maybe next year. This is Sydney's second year. Last year she went with TJ. Shay, TMI. It's always about her. The great Sydney Denny Henderson. She's so perfect. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cue for when she's talking too much. It's jealousy. Jealousy? It's been brewing for a while now. She doesn't feel like Sylvester loves her, and she doesn't know how to deal with Sid getting flowers all the time. What do you mean? Well, every time Sylvester sends flowers to Sydney or calls and talks longer to her than he does to Shay, it's a problem. Well, Sylvester called this morning and told Sid he was sending her flowers. He's never even seen Shay dance or play basketball, and he's never sent her flowers. Have you guys ever talked to anyone about this? No, I haven't told anyone about it. It's, it's embarrassing. I mean, I don't even know how to help my own daughter. Girl, it is not your fault. We do the best we can with our kids. You know they don't come with manuals. Do you want me to talk to her? I don't know how she's gonna respond. Look, how about I get Shay sometime next week? I blame myself for staying too long. I should have never went back after the affair. While I was home working like a dog, raising Sydney like I was a single parent, he was off at that hospital, practicing several methods of internal medicine with the nurses. But he didn't even have the decency to tell me he had a son. I had to find out through whispers at the hospital Christmas party. Sheila, I am so sorry. I wanted my marriage to work and I wanted Sydney to have her father. I mean, I had my dad. She deserves that too. Well, what happened? Well, we were separated for a year and Shay is our reconciliation baby. <laughs> But when I told him that I was pregnant, he said he wasn't back long enough for the baby to be his. Do you really think he doubts Shay is his? I don't know what he thinks, but I do know it's easier to be distant and to send flowers and a note than to have a relationship with your children. I thought I was marrying my prince when I married him. I just wanted him to love me. I understand how it feels to think that you've married your prince. I'd still be married to mine if he hadn't gotten colon cancer and mm. he wouldn't have been taken away from me. Tell me about him. He was everything I would have hoped for. He was everything I dreamed of. He was my fairy tale. Mm. We were happy, we were in love. He was my prince. Morning, Mom. Good morning, good morning. You know, it's been two years and I still miss him. Me too. We don't talk about Dad anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, I think about him all the time. I, I, I just don't want you living in the past. I want you to be able to move on. So you were listening when we went to see that counselor. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm moving on. I just don't want to forget. I can never forget Jason. I'll always love him. He'll always have a special place in my heart. Hello? Hey, girl. Getting ready to get on the road. Well, enjoy your time with your family. 
My family is very interesting. I'm sure I have lots to tell. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> well, enjoy. Hey, Sheila, you know the Singles Fellowship Bowling Party is tonight. Yeah. Well, I think you should go. Well, let's leave that as a maybe. <laughs> You both look so happy. That is such a blessing. That's what love does. This man completes me. <laughs> I'm just so glad that God gave me Stephanie. I only wish I would have found her sooner. Okay, okay. Get going before you miss your flight. It's obvious you both can't wait until this honeymoon gets started. <laughs> Cause we got business, baby. <laughs> hey, baby bro. I was hoping to holler at y'all before y'all left. Oh man, I'm just glad you were able to share this moment with us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss this for nothing. Hey, it's a pleasure meeting you all. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you as well. Son. What's up, Rev? Hey, mom. Hi, baby. How you doing? Son, I'm proud of you. I'm so glad that you finally decided to come home to the Lord. You can really use your talents today. I just wish you was at home at my church. Reverend Allen, we'd be happy to visit, and I'm sure Joseph would be honored to play at your revival. Okay. <laughs> Look, thanks, family. Um, we'll give you a call when we get back. All right, see you later. So how was the college tour? I sure is a lot of ground to cover in five days. I like Tennessee. Man, they even had a party for us. Was that the only reason you want to go there? Mom, of course not. Okay, so what other schools did you like? Mm, they all were nice, but I liked Tennessee and Hampton the best. Okay, could you see yourself going there for four years? Yeah. And you didn't like Morehouse? Well, since you're making me go to a school where all boys uh, now, I want to make sure I had plenty of girls when I go to college. <laughs> have you considered looking at Ohio State? Nope. Too cold. I thought you liked Columbus. I do, but I just want to go to a school where it's warm. Okay, well, have you even started thinking about a major? Nope. Josh. Any other schools? Uh, maybe one or two. Okay, well, which ones? Duke, Georgetown, and Michigan. Oh, Michigan. It's mm. my alma mater. Mm. Go blue. Wait a minute. Aren't those the schools that Sid's considering? A lot of people are considering them. Mm. Sid just happens to be in that group. Right. Okay. Josh, we're running out of time. Yeah, well, it was your idea to transfer me my senior year of high school. I had all this figured out with Miss Butler in Columbus. Josh. Hmm. Still planning to go to Columbus to take Nikki to the prom? It was good seeing everyone. I really enjoyed last weekend. I'm glad we went. <sighs> I'm just glad everybody behaved themselves. <laughs> I can't believe it's been 22 years mm -hmm. since I last saw your brothers. It was good seeing people at a wedding instead of a funeral. Yeah, well... I'll be getting everybody together again for Josh's graduation. I hope, no, I pray that we can all get together, we can have a good time. I'm thinking about getting a shelter at the park. Ladies, we're trying to watch TV. Speaking of family, Alicia wants us to come to Raleigh. Oh, Mom, don't forget about the basketball tournament with my friends at O State. Oh, I could call. I'm sorry, cuz. That's going. Your part as an actor, you you are being impacted by everybody around you, just as we in this room, you know, are bouncing off. Girl, guess what? What? Sheila met somebody at the Singles Fellowship on Saturday. Who? Doug. Doug? Doug who? Mm -hmm. We didn't get that far. I don't recall Doug. He's a friend of Isaac's. So who's a friend of Isaac's? This guy Sheila met at the Singles Fellowship. 
Uh, the girls don't know. Uh, so in other words, don't talk about it? You're such a good man. <laughs> Need me to check him out? Of course. Make sure the FBI doesn't know who he is. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me about Doug. <laughs> When's the last time you talked to him? Talked to him this morning on my way to work. Mm -hmm. And you've told the girl? I told them that I had somebody that I wanted them to meet on our way to church yesterday. And how'd they take it? Well, Sid, of course, was more than excited. She's been wanting me to date since forever. Shay didn't say much. Really? How was she when they met? <laughs> she gave him a dry high. But Sid was very cordial. Hmm. So, um, when do I get to meet this mystery man? Well, actually, Isaac suggested we go to the movies and dinner together on Saturday. Ooh, that would be nice. <laughs> no, silly. You and Isaac are coming with us. Me and Isaac? Yes, girl, I told you he liked you a long time ago. You've just been acting like the queen of the now. Okay. Danny, are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. It's okay, Danny. We're going out to have a good time. I'm not asking you to marry him. Really, it's okay. What time on Saturday? Hey, Josh, come here. Hmm? Sit down for a second. Okay. <clears throat> What's up? I have a question for you. Okay. How do you feel about me dating again? Mm. Never thought about it. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Do you know Mr. Isaac from church? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like Mr. Isaac. He, he, he's cool, he's cool. Why do you say that? Well, he, uh, he came with Salvation Soldiers when we went to uh, rock climbing, and, uh, and he plays ball with us. Mm, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, he could be funny, too. <laughs> yeah, I like him, he's cool. Okay, yeah. well, we're just friends, and we're going to go out and have a nice time. Well, I want you to have a nice time, Mom. So, uh, how long do you think you'll be planning to grieve on Widow? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, do you think Jason wants you to be alone for the rest of your life? No. He loved me too much for that. Hmm. I can see why. Don't get your feet off my table. <clears throat> what are you still doing up? Uh, waiting on my mom. Well, we had a nice time. We all did. So did you pack? You know, Sheila will be here in the morning. Already done. And um, I talked to Grandma, and she said, do not forget my senior pictures. You gonna be okay? Yeah. My in-laws are wonderful. I, I actually need to do a better job of keeping in touch. Yeah. What about you, Josh? This must be hard. I'm okay. I'm just looking forward to seeing everyone, especially my grandfather. Mm -hmm. 
So, Miss Danny, how did your husband die? He had colon cancer, Sue. Is that like breast cancer? <laughs> cancer is cancer, Shay. I didn't know, that's why I asked. Girls, please. But, Ma. But nothing, Shay. Did you cry? Oh, my yes. Yes, I cried. I was very sad. I loved him very much. Did you cry too? Never been to Charlotte. You just don't remember. You came when you were four. You nervous, Mom? No, not really. We're here with family. Well, I'm sort of nervous. That's the one whole bunch of people asking me if I'm all right. I mean, it's only been two years. I know. We don't have to go to the reception, you know. I'm okay, huh? I'm not mad anymore that Dad died. I just, I just wish he was alive. I know, me too. No one will ever take his place in my life. Not even Mr. Isaac? Not even Mr. Isaac. If I ever get married again, it will be different. No one will ever replace Jason. Would I have to call Mr. Isaac dead if you married him? I have no plans on marrying Mr. Isaac. We're just friends. Jason will always be your father. Nothing will ever replace that. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Now show me how much. And go get us a table. Save me a seat with your grandparents. Okay. Hey! Hey, hey Josh! How you doing, Chris? Oh, oh, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Your grandmother. Oh, what have you been? We have missed uh, you. Oh, my dear child. <laughs> Where's your mother? Oh, she's getting ready. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Good morning. It sure was good seeing everybody last week. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd be sad, but um, it, it, I was glad we went. I meant what I said about staying connected. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to go see Johnson C. Smith while we were there. You know we have a lot of cousins that attend there. I finished my online application last night. Is that for school or for basketball tickets? <laughs> for both. And is it because Sid will be going to Duke? No, not really. They have rolling admissions. And what about majors? Well, I don't really want to know what I want to do yet, so it's cool. And there's plenty of family, and when I want to get away, I'll just go to Raleigh and see Aunt Leisha and Uncle Dennis. Josh, we really need to start taking this picking a school thing seriously. Look, look I, I do. Okay, really, I, I want to go to Johnson C. Smith. entitled Prostrate. It was there, staring at the tracks of the tears as they pulled beneath my face that I came to faith again. See, I'd always called upon his name, was raised singing his praises and raved for his saving grace, but claiming him as Lord, that was a different thing. I knew he was king of kings, but letting him reign over everything, that was hard for me. But there, on that floor, he poured his spirit out upon me. Baptized anew, he knew that renewal was needed, and I heeded. I yielded everything to him. And in return, I received what I could never earn. 
He lifted my head just high enough to place the crown of loving kindness upon it. He redeemed me from the collision course I was trailing and stopped me from derailing. His mercy forgave my mishandling and his grace took the wheel and steered me to a place of sweet rest. So yes, my soul will bless the Lord as I now lay here, grateful and surrendered, prostrate before Christ, rehearsing his wondrous benefits face down on the floor. Thank you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our wait, 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 wait. Dude, spice it up, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, do that thing. Okay, okay, okay. What a friend we have in Jesus. Yeah. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. All right, check it out. He was crushed by the many, many sins I had to bury. He was hated like an average episode of Tom and Jerry Boys to <laughs> talk about him. Walk upon him like he's something scary, like the thriller. He was raising people, sleeping dead and buried. Yeah, God is the truth. He came and died on the cross, gave the keys to the lost and vanished like poof. <laughs> Boys are still in the now, searching for proof. But what God are the two of you doing? Oh. Practicing? Keep it holy. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I gotta go get ready for tonight. Mm. Are you nervous? Of course. <laughs> well, you know, you deserve the Adam Wade Best Actress Award. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks. I, I've always dreamed of being nominated, and now it's real. I just hope I win. And that my dad comes this time. You think he will? I mean, I'd like to meet him. Are you serious? <laughs> I hope so, but he's always full of promises. Why does he keep doing this? Why can't he just keep one promise? I'm so blessed to have a father who loves you. Dad, what happened? I thought you would be there to see me get my award. I beat out all the leads on all the other high school plays. They said I could play Dorothy on Broadway. I got the flowers, my favorite, pink roses. I just wish you were there. Sorry, Daddy couldn't come. Yeah, me too. At least he loves you. Shay, he loves you too. No, I don't think so. Well, I do. You're the best little sister in the world. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I love you, Shay. I took a chance. I gave it a try. The day that I found you We said I do We said I will When love declares This game called love so strong And no matter how far I go Love you win Hey guys
What's going on, bro? Glad you're here, man. Mom's having a real hard time. I don't know what to say. He was so hard to like. Baby, shh. Now is not the time. Not today. Don't act like you didn't leave after you graduated because you couldn't wait to get away from him. I like the old Rev. He was all right. Kind of stiff, but he was all right. I really wish I had the chance to get to know him. <laughs> Nobody was good enough for his sons. <laughs> Not even you. Little miss, sing in a choir, go to church every Sunday. Tasha Nika, my wife has nothing to do with the fact that my dad did not care for you. First of all. Yo, man, what's up with that? Man, you need to talk. You need to tone your woman down. We're supposed to be here for mom. Wife. Hey, be quiet. Danny is sleeping. Your father loved all of you very much. Kept putting off going to the doctor. He knew he was sick. He kept saying he had so much to do. It was getting difficult for him to breathe and he was just tired all the time. I begged him to see Dr. Baird. We have got to stop meeting like this. First my dad, now your granddad. He said he would be home at noon. So we were going to have lunch. But there's other things to worry about, like unanswered questions and things unsaid. Yeah, so I'm learning. When, when he didn't come home for lunch, I just... I assumed that he'd gotten caught up in his work. Sean came to get me at 1.30. We, we went straight to the emergency room. He was already gone. I can't bear. He was the only man I'd ever loved. Everyone in Smithtown loved him. I got, I gotta, I gotta go see Danny. I loved that. He loved you too. He really loved you, Joshua. Vegetable oh, lasagna. Yes. That's why I'm not gonna say you shouldn't have. Come on in. <laughs> now you thank know you. I prefer meat in mine. Well, I like vegetable, thank you very much. <laughs> you can sit right here. Okay. Thank you. Whew. So, how's your mom? I'm not sure how she's gonna be now that everybody's gone. Joey and Stephanie don't live too far away from her, and mm -hmm. Rhonda lives right down the street. My mom kind of adopted her when her mother passed away. How are you? I'm okay. Rhonda's gonna keep me posted on everything. Okay, but really, how are you doing? Sheila, where's Danny? Come on in. Danny's in the back. She'll be out in a minute. I'm... I'm gonna go. Okay. Um... Take care of my friend. Oh, okay.
Where's Josh? Sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? I told him that you was really tired. Hmm. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? I'm glad to see you. You must have been tired. What's the matter? Nothing. Yes, there is. What's the matter? It is something. And if you don't tell me, we can't deal with it. It was different seeing you in Mr. Isaac's arms last night. On our last Christmas, I remember seeing you sleeping with Dad like that. I like Mr. Isaac, and I think he's cool. It just felt weird seeing you with him like that. Josh, if I had died, do you think your dad wouldn't have dated anyone else? I don't know, I guess so. I would have wanted him to. I would have wanted him to fall in love again. I would have wanted him to be happy. I would have wanted the both of you to be happy. And I think that's what he wants. I think he wants the both of us to be happy. I miss him so much. He should be at my graduation. What's the matter? You didn't like the movie? It's complicated. You've been somewhere else all afternoon. What's complicated? Well, they offered me the VP position at the bank. Well, that's great. In Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. Babe, this, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. If it came six months ago, this wouldn't be so hard. Please say something. I mean, I'm happy for you. Really. This is something you've always wanted. Thanks for the party. It's the least I can do. I never thought I'd be in this place. Not after losing Nia and my baby. Never thought I'd be in a place of love. Loving you. Having this opportunity of a lifetime with this job. Eight years ago. Harvey came into the halfway house where I called home. And he asked who wanted to change their lives. Four of us stood up. I was the last one. I took Harvey's invitation. I started Wednesday Night Fellowship. I learned about love, forgiveness, and purpose. I surrendered to Christ and I learned to worship God. When I went home that Thanksgiving, I hugged my mom and I thanked my dad for being an example of strength and courage. I called Nia and apologized for not being the man that she needed when our baby died. I promised God that I would serve him and I would only ask that he restore me and help me to realize my purpose. I have been praying for this position and God has answered. I gotta walk into my destiny. When I first saw your face, it made me feel some crazy kind of ways. Butterfly. 
inside Stars light up in my eyes Can you really be mine? But it feels like a dream to me It feels like a dream to me Beloved, as we conclude this service, we want you to know that this is the conclusion of this matter of protecting the seed. That we must teach our seed that committed Christians above all else abandon themselves to the purpose of God. In the light of that, I want to charge you today to be adults who are promoters of the faith and protectors of the family, for generators of all that is good and righteous. If this generation is going to be turned around, it's going to take every adult, not only in this church, but in this community, to love and care for the kids. So as we go down from this holy place, we got a charge to keep and a God to glorify. So now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. Be glory and power and dominion forever, for we are his people, and we can live in this world being glad about that. Let the people of God say amen. God bless you and heaven smile. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I really thought my dad would come. I know, but this is your day. Be happy. At least he got you flowers. Okay, Mom. Look, I promise to call every week, okay? But Charlotte seems so far. Mom, I love you, okay? And my love can travel across the highways all the way to Pittsburgh. Oh. Oh. Okay. You know your dad is proud of you, right? Yeah. You know he's watching, right? Yeah. Well, Miss Shay, it's been a fabulous four days. We must do this again the next time your mother goes out of town. I don't know about fabulous, but it's been fun. I enjoyed the concert, too. Thanks for taking oh, me. No problem, sweetie. You know, your mom is really concerned about you and what you think about Doug. Yeah, I know. So, what um, do you think? I like him. It's just... Just what? If him and mommy get married, I won't have anybody anymore. What do you mean? Of course you will. You'll have your mom, you'll have your sisters, you'll have me. We all love you. I mean, I love you like you're my very own daughter. I count that as a blessing. My dad doesn't love me. Oh, baby, he loves you. Honey, whose car is that? Oh, that's my dad's car. You can't just stop.
stop by when you're in town and expect everybody to be happy to see you. Look, I just came to see my kids. What are you so bitter about? You got a house, you got a car, everything's taken care of. <laughs> oh yeah, don't be fooled. I'm ecstatic that you left and grateful that you left me with two beautiful girls and not AIDS. You're just a whore with MD behind your name. Come on, I don't wanna, I just wanna be dead. Oh, so you think you're supposed to be daddy of the year? Not of the year, just, you know, the present moment. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? Oh, give me a hug. Greg? You know him? I, I, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Sylvester. He, in, he introduced himself as, as Greg. Sylvester Gregory Henderson. How do you know him? I was an intern at Western Psych while, while he was a resident. And we had a summer relationship. But, you had a and, what? But, or at least I, I thought it was a relationship. He told me he loved me and- He loved you? Please, and, and that we were gonna get married. And w but when I got pregnant with Josh- Wait, when you got, what? He told me that he was married. I haven't seen him for 19 years since I was three months pregnant. When I married Jason, he adopted Josh. So, Wait a minute. So Jason, you're a uh, your prince, right? Your your perfect life. What what happened to that? Was that a lie too? Were you even married? Look, look Sheila, I'm I'm sorry. This this is the secret that I have been hiding for for years. Sylvester is Josh's father. Yeah. So. He's the son that everybody was whispering about at the hospital Christmas party. You're the other woman. You're the reason why my husband wouldn't even look me in the face. It was you. He didn't want me. He wanted you. I didn't know. I'm sorry. He wanted me to have an abortion. I didn't know. I, this, is want, a, this is a bunch of bull. He wanted me to have an abortion. He shows up unannounced to ruin my evening and now I find out that my best friend Ruin my marriage! You know what? The truth does set you free. But freedom ain't never been free. No, Sheila. Sheila, no, I'm sorry. About the pain I feel inside my heart. Nowhere else to turn. It's time for Danny, what happened? Is Josh okay? Danny, what happened? I saw Greg. Where? When? Did he come to your house? He was at Sheila's. He's her ex-husband. Greg is Sylvester. What? It just doesn't go away, Annie. It doesn't go away. Babe, I just talked to Sheila. She told me what's going on. She should be here any second. We need to pray when she gets here. Let me have your cup. It's gonna be okay. We don't always understand the whys, but understand God is still in control. You gotta believe that.
We need to pray. Let us pray. Father God, if we ever need you before, we need you now. Father God, we need your grace and your mercy. Father God, we need you to have your way in this situation. Father God, we need you to just bless. Where there is pain, give us peace. Where there is confusion, give us wisdom. Have your will. Give us the words to say and the things to do. And Father God, we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And Danny, if you need me to go down to Charlotte, I can beat her next Saturday. I think this could be hard on Josh, and I think I can help. My daughter is devastated. Look, God has gifted me to help young men grow into godly men. I don't know too much about these girl things. I'm so sorry this is my fault. Sid's in love with Josh. What? I, I thought they were just friends. Josh is on his way to Raleigh to take her to the homecoming dance. You need to talk to him. Secrets, lies, skeleton. Yeah, and now my daughter is in love with her brother. I don't know what to say to my son. You need to tell him the truth. I can't. Honey, you have to tell him the truth. God, where are you? I'm trying to have faith. So what am I supposed to do now? Man, there's nothing in those wisdom seeds to help me now. Nothing. Hello? Hey, Mom. Hey, you tracked me down. Mom. Mom, you all right? Hey, hey, baby. How you doing? I'm, I'm fine, Mom. What's the matter? Josh, are you sitting down? Is Nana okay? Yes, Josh, this, this is, this is between me and you. Mom, what are you talking about? Don't tell me you're going to Atlanta to be with Mr. Isaac. Josh, please listen. Okay, Mom, what, what's going on? Josh, when I graduated from college, I had an internship at Pitt, and my boyfriend's name was Greg. He told me that he loved me, and when I got pregnant, he told me that he was married, and he wanted me to have an abortion, but I, I couldn't. Do I have a brother or sister that you gave up for adoption? No. Josh, that baby is you, and his name is Sylvester Gregory Henderson, Miss Sheila's ex-husband. What? No, uh, 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 Miss Sheila's ex-husband? I haven't seen him since I was three months pregnant. I met Jason in grad school when you were one. He adopted you after we got married. S Sid is not my sister. Yes, Josh, she is. You, you let me fall in love with my sister, Mom? Mom, you've been lying to me my whole life. How could you do that? What about love and trust and all that stuff? Josh, Josh, I didn't know. I just found out yesterday. And it's making me so frustrated. But I trade my weakness on my knees. And I realize Danny, what's going on? I gotta go check on Josh. I'll call you back. So Josh! Yeah. yeah. I don't know exactly where you're about to take me. But I learned how to put my trust in you lately. I had to get to this place so I can make this clear. February. 14th, my dearest Danielle, as I look back over our lives together, I can only thank God he gave me you and a wonderful son. I pray you have felt loved and that Josh has felt loved and nurtured. I hope 
he always knows I did my best. I know I don't have long, so I will cherish every memory. I only regret that it's much too soon. I also regret not having the chance to sit down with Josh man to man and explain the adoption. One day, when he has children of his own, show this letter to him and he'll understand. Well, my sweet, if this is my last letter, know that it's sealed with all my hopes and dreams. Love and kisses, forever yours, Jason. Sheila, I'm so sorry. You look a wreck. Yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry about everything. Can we just be honest? I missed my friend, but I was hurt. I was angry. No more lies, I promise. So many lies in my past. Trust is very important to me. So what do we do now? Pray our way through this. Day 19, still haven't heard from Josh. Well, you'll never guess what Sydney did. What? She called Sylvester and asked him to come down and meet Josh. Are you serious? Oh, I have got to call Alicia. I've got to get to North Carolina. No, we've got to get to North Carolina. Let me tell her to call when he's on his way. Danny. I just got a call from Sid. She's at a hospital in Durham. She's fine. It's, it's not Sydney. It's Sylvester. He was in a car accident. He was in a car accident on 85. Danny, it doesn't look good. He knows. She called him. He's going to take the first train to Durham in the morning. All right. He's gone. What do you mean, gone? He's dead? Though I speak with the tongues of angels. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Where's Josh? Now, don't get upset. Why would I get upset? The kids stayed at the house with Sylvester's mother. Josh too? All of the grandkids. But he doesn't, he doesn't even know them. <laughs> well, he knows them now. And they obviously knew about him. He asked me to bring his clothes to the house in the morning. He hates me. <laughs> he does not hate you. This is a lot for him to deal with. My dad was right. Skeletons always get tired of hiding, and now <coughs> mine have come out to haunt me. Girl, God is bigger than any skeletons. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll be back.
Though your father has passed away, he will still be with you and here. Remember him in everything you do and how you act. That's how you honor his legacy. When people see you, they'll see him. What do you want them to remember? Bless you. Bless you. I don't feel like you're watching me anymore. And I need you. Please help me. I can't do this. I'm gonna ride back to the church with Miss Sheila. I'll see you at the hotel. Please. I'll call you when I get back to the room. I gotta go do this family thing. so bad. Why does everyone die? I'm so, so sorry. I know this hurts. Oh, I'm so sorry. Joshua, is this your mama? Hi, I'm Danielle Singleton. Hi. Hi. You have every right to be angry, but I would ask you not to. This day is sad enough by itself. I was hoping that tomorrow we could all start over with a new day. I'm hoping that you would join the family for dinner so we could talk. I only had one son. And now he's gone. I'd like to get to know you and Joshua better. Look, here's my number. I would love the opportunity to get together, but right now I just need to be with my son. Hey. Hi. I'm a, I'm a Toya. It's my husband, Julian. Hi. And my son Brandon. I know my brother, you know, was a jerk, but once everything calms down, hoping that we can sit down and talk. Sure. Josh sure. seems like a fine young man, and I'm sure he'd love to get to know his cousin. Hi, I'm Mrs. Tymora Henderson, and this is my son Sylvester Jr. I would love for my son to get to know his brother, if that's all right with you. Josh has my number, and you can find me on Facebook. Tamora Henderson. Young and gullible when I met Greg, I mean Sylvester. You know, I really thought that he loved me. I was devastated when he left me after I got pregnant. You, you both should have told me when I was old enough to understand. Well, Jason wanted to when you were 10, but I, I begged him not to. Did Sylvester ever want to see me? He never called. Would you have let him? I don't know. I guess. 
So now what? Thanks. I wish I had the answers. We're going to need to talk to someone. Another counselor? I'll look for a family therapist. Maybe we can get two or three sessions in when you're home for Christmas. Say she come to. I'll talk to Sheila about it tomorrow. I'm really sorry that Mr. Isaac had to take that job in Atlanta. Me too. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for keeping me sane when I thought I was losing my mind. Thank you for loving me when I didn't even like myself. Thank you for Grandma Ida and Jason and Josh. Thank you for my friends and my family, all those people who love and care for me so much. No more weight. No more lies, no more secrets. Oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, for grace. Oh, with a skeleton and um, the skeleton decided it was going to come out of out of its closet and it's hurt so many of the people that I've that I love and I care about I, I didn't know the difference between love and lust I really really thought that he loved me I thought we were going to get married. I thought we were going to ride off into this beautiful sunset and we were going to live happily ever after. But he, he proved me wrong when I got pregnant with Josh and he left me. My pregnancy shamed my father. He was so ashamed of me. But when I married Jason, Jason adopted Josh. And so I took my shame and I shoved it into a closet. Jason begged me to tell Josh, but I refused. My secret was the way of making it right. A few weeks ago, Josh's father showed up. And you know, the world, it's, it's so small. <laughs> because Josh's father was Sheila's ex-husband. And <laughs> I hurt my son. I hurt my best friend. I hurt her kids with my secret. But what I know is that my God is a God of forgiveness. And he's a God of redemption. And he's a healer. And I thank him for loving me 
and I thank him for restoring me. I knew I'd find you here. When did you get home? Yesterday. Me too. How are you? I, I don't know. This is just crazy. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you how I really felt when you came for homecoming, but the call from my mom was just too crazy, and it blew me away. I'm glad I didn't kiss you that day on the porch. I just wish you could have met my dad. Well, our dad. Yeah, I had a lot of questions. He wasn't so bad. So now what? I guess we start over as brother and sister. And we ask God to help us and heal our pain. Miss Dad. Me too. This was our favorite holiday. I wanted to meet Sylvester. I'm sorry. It hurts, but it's different. I have so many questions. I understand. It's, it's hard when someone dies and you have so many unanswered questions. Like you and Granddad? I never wanted you to know that, me. I wish he was here so I can tell him that I know the truth and nothing changes. He's my father and, and I love him. You up for a drive? Where? Columbus. You made me promise to take care of mom, and I will. I will always love her forever. Enough for the both of us. Mom, did you always cry so much? Yeah, but these are happy years. If you ever find yourself bound up in a mess, seek God and he will set you free. What? What'd you say, Mom? It's one of those wisdom seeds your grandmother planted in me a long time ago when I was young. I finally understand its significance. I also understand what she meant when she said that God sees the sparrow when it falls. For if he's watching the sparrow, then he's definitely watching me. Come on, I'll explain it all to you in the car on the way home. Secrets, many lies, the truth 
I try to hide Entangled by my sin No peace, no joy within Then Jesus said to me The truth will set you free Set you free Set free from the chains that bind me Set free, my past is behind me I'm walking in liberty I've been set Yeah.